at some point you've got to make a decision because leave it too late and it's going to be exceptionally difficult to bring these two back and there's there's no coming back and here we go here we go it's the human powered health team who try to light things up it's well covered of course the european champion is right on the wheel there but gonna need to commit the junction's been made by paladin here now right inside Just keep the moves being marked this one by uh, one of the riders from uno x Team from Norway. And the peloton catches the attackers. Braun and Stultins are brought back, and Braun now goes into domestic mode to try and work for those behind. So then, time to move, and they are moving. Look at this. Look at this. Este works. Going to work now, Hannah. Wow. Well, this is perhaps not what we were expecting, that it would be Lorena Wiebes who would be the rider who can try and make a move on the Kauberg. And what an acceleration out of the lower corner of the Kalberg here. Everybody's thinking the same thing now as we go back into the final 20 kilometers. They know that the action is going to, to start at some point. And Kristen Faulkner, she is the first rider to start things over the top of the Kalberg here. The bell will ring this time they come through. It'll be the start of the final lap. And it's going to be a narrow gap for Kristen Faulkner. Paladin then, who tried to get to the front at the top of that climb there, but sort of passage to the front by the national champion of Netherlands, has managed to do it. This looks like it might be for Nambroy now in the chase. For Vlert, just on her wheel. She's very hidden on the wheel of uh, Persico. Here she is. And now she, she moves. Out. Now she moves. Anamik van Vlerten, where you least expected her. Not waiting for the climbs, wanting to use shock and awe, surprise. And here she goes. Always an entertainer, Anamik from Flirten is after the one big prize that eludes her. It's Baufein, the German rider who is doing the chasing for Canyon Sram, and Mariana Voss has got herself into that move there. And look the... who that drags out. Look who that drags out. Anamik from Flirten is going to not want to let Mariana Voss ruin her dreams of a big Amstel Gold race win. On to the Bemelberg then, 900 metres long, a 4.9% average, maximum of 7.4%. The fireworks go again, Tom is caught back, and look who's chasing. Because Annemiek van Vlutten this time is down in the drop, she's swinging from side to side. She doesn't seem to have that punch to close the gap quickly though. And now another move on the left-hand side from Annemiek van Vlutten. And it's Van Amroy who's in the chase. Now van Vlutten waiting towards the top of the Bemelberg. Last left turn then into the big wall. They cheer as they hit the Kalberg. Two leaders in the ninth edition of the Amstel Gold Race. Grace Brown here at the front for FDG. Just behind her is Soraya Paladin. 1.2 kilometers, all uphill. And then it's the nervy ride to the finish for the last K. Onto the steep gradients here of 12, 13%. And Grace Brown, she's really starting to feel that. She's out of the saddle trying to get everything else out of her body, trying to make an acceleration, but Paladin is just too strong for the Australian here. It's now Lippert, it's now Marcus, then you have Moulman Passio, you can see that Nuvia Dom is not far behind, and Lotta Kopecky still in the fight. What a spring that Pfeiffer Georgie's having, and now Este Works are gonna play their cards because we know that Kopecky's in this group. It's time for them to attack, it's time for them to go again and make everyone else chase. Demi following second in the past two editions of this race. Will it be third time lucky for the Dutch woman? This is Demi following riding to victory. Second two years ago, second last year as well. And Demi following now is going to move up to the top step of the podium. Time to get it ready to celebrate. 100 meters to ride now. All smiles, and again, it's Dutch dominance at their biggest one-day race. The Amstel Gold Race, after two years of playing second fiddle, finally goes to Demi Follering. Este works to it yet again. And in behind, they will win the sprint for second place as well, or at least they'll be on the podium, because Kopecky was up there in either second or third.